How's it going, the director of the gaming? It is Dr. Doom here bringing you a Black Ops gameplay search and destroy on I have no idea what this map is called. <laughs> Using the Galil with Silencer and I believe the um, fucking, what is it called? Reflex Sight. Uh, I don't know what the perks are because this is a very old gameplay that I just had in my file share. I kind of forgot Black Ops had a file share. And I went back to see what I had and I had a couple games in there so I might as well clear them out and get them out of the way because I've been having uh, trouble trying to get some good games. But um, yeah, I didn't want to talk about the gameplay, that's not what I talk about. What I wanted to talk about was uh, grudge holding. Now grudge holding is, you know, if you don't know what it is, it's when you kill somebody and they keep trying to come back to that same spot. Usually it, it happens a lot when people are camping. Uh, when you're camping, you're just, you know, sitting in the same area, you know, picking people off. And uh, people, you know, get mad that you're constantly killing them, so they try to run back and get you. Um, Personally, I don't just camp. I, I tend to think of it as patrolling, and I'm not trying to think of another word just for camping. But when I what I consider camping is you're sitting in a corner pretty much just looking and waiting for somebody to walk by. Patrolling is like, say, sitting in this building, going around every area, looking around everything, just making sure no one gets in this area. But um, a lot of times, I was playing Modern Warfare 2 right now, and um, I was getting just an unnecessarily big streak with my spaz because that was a fail grenade but because people just constantly come back and try to grudge hold you and uh, I ended up getting a pave low within the very beginning of the game just because you know people were coming back grudge holding me and um, you know grudge holding is it's good when people are doing it to you because you can get a, you can get a lot of kills from pe just killing grudge holders but um, you know t sometimes you tend to do it yourself and you go back and you try to kill the person but then you get pissed off because they keep killing you um, you know, grudge holding is, it's funny because you see, you get, like, I've gotten an unnecessary amount of kills because people are just constantly coming and trying to grudge hold me. And it's just like, you don't, I don't know if, like, what the hell they're doing really. Like, what's their mentality when they're doing this? Because a lot of times it's them, like, jumping around the corner just to try to kill you. Which is stupid because a lot of times, you know, you could see someone jumping out of the, si the side of your screen. And you, you're not going to get a kill that way. And it's just, it seems to me like it's kind of pointless. Because you get mad at people that are just sitting there, what do you do in any Call of Duty game? You instantly go to pull out a noob tube and shoot them while they're sitting in the corner. Now this brings me to the next thing I want to talk about, which is noob tubing, or I like to call it pro piping, because I am myself a pro piper. <laughs> I will admit it. And to me, it's just, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. It sucks. It's like a love-hate relationship, and it was funny because I had a conversation with about this with some random guy in the lobby, and it was about like how people like will love to noob tube. Like you'll you'll sit there and you'll have so much fun noob tubing, but you just get absolutely pissed when somebody noob tubes you back. And uh, I mean, it's definitely true. I'm um, right now. Me and my friend are working on a noob tube montage just because, you know, montages. You see the same thing over and over again. The sniping montages can only get. I guess so cool. I mean, it seems now that it's more about editing than anything. But like when I want to watch a montage, you you do want cool editing, but you want like really cool clips too, and just like things that are different. And with sniping montages, you get the same thing. There's only so much you can do. I mean, you do the 360 kills, like 360 no scopes, you know, ladder stalls, and all the the fucking I'm gonna turn around like three times, throw a throwing knife, shoot my spaz, and then turn around again and get a no scope, and. uh you know, certain things like that, it, it only, you can only do so much of it, so we started doing that, but, you know, noob tubing is, it's, it's a fun thing to do, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wanted to post a gameplay, um, earlier, it was a, I went 38 and 3 just noob tubing, and I wanted to post it, but I know that if I do post something like that, all I'm gonna get is just hate comments about, you know, oh, you're a fag because you noob tube, and, I mean, I don't see what the point, like, what's so bad about it. I think noob tubing is an easy way to get rid of people that are just camping out in the back, like sniping. I, I, my policy though with noob tubing is I will not noob tube unless I get noob tubed first. I will go in the game just, you know, trying to play with my, uh, with like an ACR silenced or something like that. And the second I get hit with a noob tube, I'm like, well, if this is how everyone else is going to play, then I might as well choose my noob tube class. So I'll start noob tubing, and that's kind of how I started just now, because uh, I'm trying to get clips, I go in the game, just start noob tubing. And um, it, it's funny because you'll, you'll start noob tubing, 
and you'll be the only one doing it and after you get a lot of kills you could get a lobby just everybody will start noob tubing just because you were doing it and um i mean i think it's an easy some people say it's cheap i think it's annoying when people are just running around quick scoping or when people are just running around tack knifing i think it's the same thing it's just something people do like if you uh if you like tack knifing i think that's more annoying than noob tubing because all you're doing is just running around with your commando and tack knife and you can lunge from like halfway across the map just to stab somebody and most of the time noob tubes can't take out commando people unless you get a peg which is one of the funniest things about noob tubing is pegging people but um you know it's just it's little things like that that people just you know they don't like and um they're quick to criticize somebody else because they're doing it that uh, it's just kind of it brings like the whole community down unfortunately everybody has something that they do hate about the game and there's nothing you're really going to be able to do to change that and you know people are going to use it and everyone's going to complain but I mean I've complained about so many people using ghost and like all this other stuff but there's literally there's nothing you can do about it yeah you can keep complaining but nothing's going to change if they put it in the game they put it in the game for a reason and um I mean, that's what a lot of people say, though, when you're like, oh, stop noob tubing. Like, if it was cheap, they wouldn't put it in the game. But I think sometimes people don't think what the hell they're putting in their game because, you know, perks like Commando and Last Stand and stuff like that, it's just, it's stuff you don't want. It's just, I think it's just, it adds negative energy to the game. It just makes you pissed off. And that's like, it just, it, it's stuff like that that makes you kind of not want to play the game. And I was playing, uh, I was playing Black Ops earlier to try to get a game, a good gameplay, and I, I would end up getting in a lobby with just so many people that had Last Stand, or I don't know what it's called in uh, Black Ops, I, know, I think it's Second Chance or something like that. And to me, like, that is a stupid perk, like, I have no respect for people that use it, because it's more annoying than anything, especially in Modern Warfare 2, a lot of people, you've probably uh, become a victim of this, but in Modern Warfare 2, when they, when someone hits last stand, they have a very brief moment of invincibility, from when they technically should have been dead to when they hit the ground. So when they're falling, you can't you can't kill them. They well, you can sit there and spray for like the entire time as they're falling, and you will not get a hit marker. And a lot of times they'll kill you within that that second that they're falling, which to me is annoying. Like that's just a like a big fucking glitch that they should have updated. But unfortunately, like, Modern Warfare 2 is just really bad with updates, so you couldn't really get anything out of there. But, um, you know, this is a really random commentary. I talked about a couple things, guys. So in the comments, you know, leave me, leave, leave some thoughts about what you guys think about noob tubing, uh, tack knifing, grudge holding, last stand, um, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.